my study, I was reading a book by Delvin Blanton. It's called Shake the Heavens and Move the Earth. And it brought on an idea, a thought that I have entitled The Misunderstood Doctrine of Oneness and Unity in the Ecclesia. It says we have been assimilated into the corrupt culture that is narcissistic at its very core. Our society preaches that we are all children of God, but that is not true. We are children of Adam, and it is Christ that gives us the power to become the sons of God. Other than that, we are a product of the fallen man who at one time had God's glory upon him, but he gave that away for something much less. His seed became corrupted by the manipulation of man's DNA with the knowledge of good and evil in the moment of his disobedience. This is our origin. Only Christ can change that. He alone has the power to regenerate us and to bring us back to the full restoration with the Father, with the mind of Christ, with his ways, his thoughts, and his truth. Assimilation is the undertone and the mantra of the doctrine of tolerance. It is a veiled attempt to make us all one. The, the banner that flies above this phony doctrine is rooted in compliance and filled with the evil premise demanding the slavery of us all. This bent is towards the darkness of Satan. It is a clever ruse to equalize us all, give trophies to all, remove gender specificity, and to remove fundamental beliefs such as the sanctity of life, the sanctity of marriage, and the freedom to disagree even in a respectful way. The doctrine maintains the mandate that that remove all differences, all uniqueness, and all religions. The clever thing is it is done in the name of diversity. The demand is diversity, and out of the same mouth they cry for oneness. But tolerance is to accept whatever. What is really meant is tolerance to agree with the whim of today. That is what is meant by oneness, oneness and unity. It is a, a vile deception by an awoke Christian.